first episode of Index? I'm intrigued. We're like in this academy city. 80% just students, 20% adults, robots, but there's a lot of kids. Power system, levels, one, two, three, four, five, and beyond. The girl using railgun, level five, us, level one, but Toma has the hand of OP. He can just like nullify anything, attacks, concepts, divine miracles, because, you know, Index's whole like church outfit did get stripped. And the fact that she took damage seems like Toma basically like canceled whatever defensive properties that exist in that, you know, church outfit, even though Index kind of repaired it by having little paper clips. Index is very cute. <laughs> the little, <laughs> all right, Toma's level zero, but that little, <laughs> bro, <laughs> that shit is actually so cute. And even though she just showed out of nowhere in her veranda and then she was just eating her shitty food, Part of me is like, damn, I'm starting to actually kind of care for her, even though it's just a random girl I just met. I don't know about walking down hell with you, but it's looking like we're going to go that way. Now, what's happening? She's basically returned to our place where a bunch of garbage collectors are like ganging up on her, but she's like stabbed, I think. There's an open wound on her, and I'm not sure if the red hair guy with the cigarette actually did the thing. He was one of the coolest looking characters in the openings. I hope he's not like an antagonist. I think that in the beginning of these shows, you're going to have a lot of characters that may be in the opposing side, but maybe they get corrected and they join our side and we become friends. Let's begin today's reaction. Recap? It's like science versus magic. And then there's the existence of like a magic association where the red hair guy I think is from. Innocentius, the witch hunter king. <laughs> Mr. Cigarette. <laughs> Sorcerers. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Magic. They've gone and done it? <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Okay, he didn't do it. I thought that he did it last episode, but no, no, no. He did not do it, thank God. <laughs> yes, her hat. <laughs> Her hood. Exactly, in her bed. Maybe we have to now. Oh, it's looking like we're bonding with her a little bit. Good. Kanzaki mentioned. Her hat. Oh no, is Kanzaki the samurai girl where she's wearing jeans but only one leg is like ripped apart? And that's the one where she has the sword. Remember the openings? Her habit, a walking church provide an absolute defense. <laughs> yeah, because Toma literally canceled the properties of the walking church. Sure, you can piece back the clothing to make it minimal viable whatever parameters to be a church, but I think Toma literally canceled that ability. なんの因果で砕けたのか。なんてメルヘン信じらんねえし。てめえら魔術師みたいな生き物は理解できねえよ。私にだって正義とあくってもんがあるんだろ。こんな小さな女の子、並みにして、これだけのリアルを前にまだ
Why would reading a book make us a cripple? Because of the sheer amount of knowledge? I don't know. What are we dealing with? What are these grimoires? Yeah, it's all in there, right? <laughs> She's a little robot. She reads something, she'll remember it forever. Okay. And she didn't become crippled. But can't conjure it. She has... So she, she can't like use the magic. She can't conjure it, but she has all the source material to conjure said magic. If someone were to get a hold of her, disaster could happen. That's why it's kind of okay to just recover her like this. Like this whole talk about good and bad really means nothing if some wrong person got their hands on index and were able to use the knowledge and use the powers and then end of the world, I guess, right? <laughs> Okay. I wonder if every like sorcery association, magic association people have like a barcode, like a serial number to identify them. This is like soldier unit 641. <laughs> pretty mean way to put it but like <laughs> so now he doesn't look so bad because like there's other groups of people that would like torture her to get the knowledge out and shit oh. okay there it is <laughs> instead of soldier 641 he's fortis 931 so there's like 930 other fortis members i don't know if they're still active but that's his name mighty person no it does matter etymology of fortis early 20th century from latin literally strong <laughs> that's his name it, 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 the etymology it literally just means strong. Doublet of fort and forte. Fortis. Strong. <laughs> okay. This dude is strong as fuck. Good, good to know. Can't. There's a ritual. You cannot give your magic name during a fight? Hold up. The Fortis 961 is the magic name, I think? Can't give magic names when we're using our magic. Why? Thank you. Here we go. Difference between science and magic, huh? But like, I expect him to be able to just punch this. Like, yeah, we, if we can't land or punch, then like, he can just dodge. He sidestepped us so easy. But if they're gonna attack, like, I don't care. I should be able to just do this and just counter the fire, right? Let's try it. We'll see. Is it broad enough to cancel magic too? これはまだ超能力以外の異能だ。なにやりすぎたか。ななななな。なに何回やっても勝てないってことだよ。ウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイ。誰が。トマ。いや。ですファキングボルシェパワーワークスアウトマジ
Oh. What was that? But like, it's only his right hand. What happens if there's a situation when someone breaks his arm that he can't use it? What happens when someone like seals the right arm? Does his left arm do anything? It's just his right arm. If there's a way to remove the right arm, I wonder what Toma does then. What did he say before? Hold up. That was a cool frame. He understands? Oh yeah, conceptually. Fire. Shio, don't let him fucking do an incantation. He's yapping. Run out of him and punch his face out. Go! Go! Stop! Bro, this incantation is so fucking long. Dude, this is like a fucking paragraph he's reading out. What the hell? Title drop. Title drop. This is the title drop. The witch something? What is it? Certain death. Yeah, certain death. For you, fuck you. You know this isn't gonna do shit. <laughs> Call the ambulance! <laughs> For you! And then he's gonna fucking just cancel it. And then the, the witch hunter certain death. You're gonna get certain death, bro. <laughs> There's that effect there, right? There's like a sound effect. I love it. Look at it again. <laughs> Yeah, there's like the sound effect in some sort of like blue light. It's like it activating, it's like nullifying the power. Uh oh. Wait. It's back. What the hell? Sword? The cross? That's a cross. Dude, this thing is actually beating us up with the fucking cross, man. Some sort of fire cross. <laughs> there it is again. This is different, I guess. It surpasses it. Runes? Index. What's happening with her, bro? She's supposed to be like injured and passed out. Now she's like talking like a fucking robot. Like I just like you know open the fucking dictionary and just uh, read this part out loud. Index is reading now, talking about runes. Her voice speech pattern. Okay, what else do we have to attack? Oh, thank you. Okay, basically, we just need to go cancel out those runes. Then this thing will cease to exist. Sure. John's pen? <laughs> no! How are you gonna do this? Leave my poor index alone. But Johan's what? <laughs> <laughs> Automatic writing of Johan's pen. Why not? Why not? I just need to find it. He was holding off the other thing with one hand. How is he gonna cover the back? Let's get out of here. Find the runes. <laughs> They can't be the runes, right? Was it that easy? Are we... Are, 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 I thought he's unlucky as fuck. We just ran off. Somehow he just escaped that shit. And now he just finds the runes immediately? Okay. Maybe it's a bait. I don't know. And those runes will 
be affected by the fire, I guess, huh? Intermission scene. There it is. Okay. He's pretty like durable. <laughs> so what now? We're just gonna run away? <laughs> yes. It's literally just like region locked. <laughs> just throwing shit at us now because it can't chase after us. <laughs> You gotta go back there, man. What about index? If he walks back into the building, the burning building, that pretty much means that he is walking back into the depth of hell, right? For index. So like, it's like symbolism. If he does this, he's gonna do this. That is a bizarre thing to do, but... What about the... <laughs> what, what about the... <laughs> Poor Index, man. There's something so mysterious about her, and like, I know that we barely even know her. We spent like, I don't know, a couple hours at most, right? But the, <laughs> the slice of life moments got me, bro. I want to help her out. Is that a look of the bell? Smart. <laughs> <laughs> that is really sad. <laughs> that you have like this is innocuous something. The fucking witch hunter king. Behold my flame incantation. <laughs> just the fucking fire alarm just takes it out. <laughs> Truly magic versus science, you know? Modern science. Just like this automatic fucking sprinkler system taking out magic. Amazing. Oh shit, he's back. The main character. Where's your fire now, huh? Round two, motherfucker. Yeah, you left it a sticky notes. Yeah, why does he not take any flame damage or heat damage? There must be a reason to light novel, right? Because like, like we literally just like have been running through fires, like it's fucking nothing. The clothing is all still intact. There, there, there has to be something going on, or maybe it's one of those things in anime where it's like a, a plot hole that doesn't really need to be nitpicked on, you know? Or, or maybe there's an actually lore accurate reason. I'm not sure. Maybe. The runes. Shitty prep time, bro. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's not toilet paper, the ink itself will leak and the runes will no longer function properly. Yeah. Okay, this guy's pretty big brain. This guy is pretty big brain, huh? Like, so far I thought this battle would be just like unga boonga, but they're really showing us like science versus magic. And like, yeah, it's pretty basic, right? I mean, what do we do? We knew that there's like runes around but it turns out to be paper sprinkler system worked out extinguished the fires and not only that blotches out the ink like there's a there's, there's a lot of like brain power at work here for toma where is it bro mm -mm. you're cooked but i still don't think we can beat this guy because like, can we land a punch like i don't know how good he is at martial arts but the but that dude like literally like sidestepped us so i'm not sure Chili, 
地獄の底までついていきたくなけりゃいや地獄の底からおねえよなワイドアウトヘル I'm gonna just give it to him being panicked and you know trying to complete his incantation. Just imagine you're trying to like repeat this incantation, but it's a fucking paragraph and there's a dude running at you, right? Probably gonna start fucking, you know, panicking. He's supposed to be strong. But then again, our main character is bullshit. So maybe I shouldn't judge him like that, right? Our main character is probably one of the strongest people ever. I expect Fortis to, like, be on our side, if not be amicable later on, though. I, I hope that he's not just, like, an antagonist for the rest of the series. There is another character mentioned, too, by Fortis. What was his name? Kanzaki, right? There's a person named Kanzaki that may have slashed index, so I'm still gonna think that's the samurai girl. Oh, it's her again. This demon. She calls her Onesama. This is the teleporting girl, right? In the opening, she's always so down bad for the railgun girl. So, okay, she literally calls her Onesama. なんて似合わない真似しているそれよりあんたこそ。そうです。後でここへ。Index. I feel so bad for her, man. Oh. I don't know how to explain this. I was thinking about after that first episode of Index. It's probably because this anime is so old. But there's like this feeling of like, I want to take care of Index. Like, if I watched this when I was a kid, 100% I would have folded. There's, I, I don't know how to explain to you. Usually, I don't just, like, fold for characters like this when I'm watching, like, a modern anime, any seasonal anime, right? But there's something about this style, the way that Index was presented, the <laughs> And now I'm like, oh, my heart's bleeding for her. Mm. You can't conjure the magic, right? Your power could interfere. His right arm. What is it? The right hand of the devil? It apparently cancels out everything that is like holy. That's God's grace. And that's why you're so unlucky, right? In my head canon, this is like basically right hand of the devil. Which implies, if we're gonna go into... Okay. Does the right... Where, where does the right hand of the devil even come from? Because like, I'm thinking Bleach and Tower of God. Right hand of the devil. Like, is there lore? Is this like from like church lore? Because like, I'm thinking... Like, if this is from some sort of, like, fucking uh, church religion lore, is it possible that, like, there is also left hand of the devil, right? Toma's left hand powers, we just don't know that yet. Maybe we'll figure out in the future episodes. <laughs> Esper power. It's not the right hand, it's the Esper power. So, talent, I don't know what the fuck a talent is, but it sounds like you're probably born with it, like, 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 when we talk about science, how the fuck does this make sense for Toma, you know? Like, it, it sounds like an esper and a magician is mutually exclusive, but like, what the fuck about Toma's powers is science? Like, a railgun, I kind of get. 
But like, what about your right hand to cancel shit? What is scientific about that? Why did he? That that seems more magic like to me. But I guess that's more Esper shit. That's but Esper shit is supposed to be some sort of like combination of science and talents. I don't know. It, it, this is talents in this context is Esper abilities, and you're just given those things at birth, right? This is like a natural talent that you're born with. And there may be some scientific ways to kind of like up, like combine that, but Esper shit and magic is different. Ugh, I don't fucking know. The railgun girl, her magnetism ability must be her talent, but there's like a scientific way to use the railgun, right? Ugh, this is crazy. Basically, magic users are a bunch of frauds. That's the way I see it, right? Espers are like you're given. God has chosen you. You have these God-given talents. And then there's a bunch of fucking frauds without any talent. And if you want to have similar powers, you become a fucking magic user. <laughs> How is that fair? Well, it's fair because they can't use your natural God-given You, dude, I bet you anyone would trade your place in a heartbeat if they knew what your fucking powers was. Fuck summoning flame bullshit with runes, bro. Like, give me the fucking, your hand. Your hand is bullshit. Yeah. I want to be an expert, bro. Fuck being a magician. Hmm. Yeah. Who else is there? Do you have a friend that doesn't have any talents? She. Oh. 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 This is very cute. I'm walking in, Sensei. Sensei, this is all yours? Look at the amount of cigarettes, bro. Sensei is all. Ooh, cute. I'm a little cute little bunny. Look at her degenerate setup! <laughs> I like Sensei a lot too. Sensei is very cute and funny, and like this whole extra context of this built up fucking cigarette tray is even more funny if you think about it. <laughs> so yeah, I do. Yeah, she got slashed by Kanzaki. Oh. It's the automatic reading of Johan's pen dash and then it got cut off, right? That's what happened before too. Mm. Yeah, awakening of Johan's pen has been invoked. Johan's pen basically means she just enters this like automatic state where she just starts citing shit that's useful. およそ15分後に私の父に従って適切な処置を施していた救急車呼んできます先生はこの子の話を聞いてお願いを聞いてとにかくこの通り宗教をやってるんでよろしくですいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
and therefore you're healed. I think that's a bit too much though, right? That's fucking... That's too crazy, right? Really? His existence will cancel it. Now I feel useless. I feel bad. Feels bad, man. The one. That's the one I saw in the opening, right? The one legged jean wearing sword user girl. This must be Kanzaki. Damn. And that's today's episode of Index. And second episode, bro? It's fucking heat. It's fucking fire. I mean, people said that the season one, like volume, like, like the first season has been adapted relatively well. And it's just like the third season that just went to trash. But like today's episode was very fun. What do we learn? Um, the existence is obviously Magic Association. We were hinted last episode. We have Mr. Fortis 961 or something here. And he's all about like magic fire. There's like the natural five great elements or some shit. Fire is one of them. We learned about runes and how Thomas powers, even if it can cancel shit, his summon, you know, it cannot just cancel because there's like other sources of powers, which is like a unique mechanic that could hinder Toma in the future. Index, well, we know that she is like this. Well, she can memorize everything just word by word, and she is literally an index. She can recite anything. 103,000 grimoires are in her. And if we were to even like take a peek at a volume, we would become crippled. I don't know what you mean crippled, but it's like, I guess the knowledge is too much. And right now, Magic Association is trying to do all they can to make sure the wrong hands don't get to her. I don't believe that Kanzaki or this red haired guy is necessarily her villains. I think that like any show in the beginning, you may have antagonists that eventually becomes on your side. But in the beginning, they are a little bit of antagonists, right? Toma showed us that through the power of science, you can overcome magic. I love the whole sprinkler shit. The, the fact that the paper ink was like blotting out, therefore the room was inconsistent. Met this girl too, who is super into the railgun girl based on the opening fan service. And Index right now taught us what? The difference of magic and espers, right? Esper shit is basically talents and they You were given a talent at birth? I'm not really sure. But if you have a talent, you cannot use magic. And magic was kind of created for those people who do not have the talent. And at this current stage, only two episodes in, it makes me feel like magicians are frauds and the talented espers are true chosen ones. But who knows, maybe magic is actually way more OP, way more versatile, and like the talent and the espers are actually watched. I'm not really sure, but this is getting more interesting as we go. Right now, we have to heal index, but obviously, recovery magic literally won't happen if we are around there. Due to our, I deem it, Thomas right-handed devil, it's, it's just like, it'll just cancel out the property. So that's very interesting, but I really want to know like how these talents are given and all that shit. And next episode, we go and get Kanzaki. That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.